So in this module, we are going to discuss um, how to assign a formative assessment that you have created through Go Formative to only classes that you've created. So in order for you to follow along with us today, you will need to log into GoFormative.com. If you haven't already, please take a minute to pause this video, um, log in, and then join us on the dashboard. Once you're on the dashboard, you will need to find the assessment that you have already created. Uh, go ahead and click the three buttons to the left of it, and then find the button that says Assign. So the reason why you probably would like to assign your assessment to your individual student classes versus everyone publicly is that this by assigning it to classes only, you are able to provide students feedback as well as monitor their growth. Um, you are able to not only give and receive feedback and see their scores, but students are also able to see their scores. Um, their work will be saved even if they lose the internet connection, and students do not require a new code or link for every assignment because they're within the course. So all they have to do is log in to their account and their assignments that you have created will be listed there. Um, it's kind of like adding or creating a portfolio of work for them. Um, their student responses can also be filtered by the class and you can lock or unlock any assignment. So if you have finished an assignment, you don't want students to go back and work on it, you can lock it up so they cannot have any access to it. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started with understanding this. Um, we are on the same page as in, as in Part A. Um, it is the building page, and we have um, our assignment tab over here on the right. We're going to select only classes. And all of the classes that you have created are here. If you have not created any classes, they will not be here. So you'll need to go back a few modules to learn how to create a class. Um, and once those appear there, you can quickly add a class directly from here just in case um, you would like to, um, or you can actually delete a class too. So it's totally up to you how you would like to go about that. But in order for you to assign it, it is very, very simple. You find the class that you would like to assign this assessment to, and you just simply turn it on. Now, when you turn it on, it gives you three different options. You can open it so that they can respond until you close this up, so they can indefinitely respond. You can close it. Um, so that they cannot respond, but they can only see the questions or scores. Um, and then there's instant scoring where they can see scores and edit the scored responses. So they can go back and actually edit their work. So it's totally up to you. Whatever you feel is important um, for instruction is what you decide on. Um, you can assign this the same exact way, um, the quick code. Um, if they've logged into this class before, remember they do not have to enter this or click on any link before. Um, again, um, but if they're new to this class, then you will have to share the quick code, the link, the Google Classroom, which makes things easy because you can just post it there, or you can embed a code on your website. So that is all there is to assigning an assessment to students in formative, um, specifically within the classes. Uh, you will know that this assignment has been assigned to their students within the class that the toggle switch is highlighted um, based on what you have chosen over here. And also that the only classes button here is highlighted. Uh, thank you for joining in.